Hi and welcome to another video from CC's Creations. My name is CC, and today I'd like to share with you a shading technique I call Prismacolor over Copic. Um, as you can see from this card here, I have used my Copic markers to color the image in, but the darker shaded areas are actually achieved by going over the image with a coloring pencil and OMS. Let me zoom in so you can get a better view of this. Now OMS stands for Odorless Mineral Spirit and you can find various brands but today I'm using Gamsol and my coloring pencils are Prismacolor Premier. Now here's my disclaimer. Um, although I've obtained my Copic certification I don't pretend to be an expert on coloring with Copic by far. If you'd like to learn more about coloring with Copic markers I'd refer you to YouTube uh, where you can find amazing tutorials on the topic. Today I just wanted to share what I know and what works for me. I'm going to be working on this image that was pre-stamped with Tuxedo Black Memento ink which is especially formulated for that type of um, for Copic markers actually. My image is uh, stamped on Prism Simply Smooth white cardstock. I've used other papers uh, like Stampin' Up's Whisper White, Gina K Designs Pure Luxury 120 pound cardstock and also Nina cardstock. Uh, the different cardstock you want to use depends on your blending technique, believe it or not. So you're just going to have to experiment with each one of them and find the one that's mostly suited to your blending method. So let's get started uh, by focusing on the hat and the pants of my little artist. She's colored with three values of blue-greens and they are BG11, BG13 and BG18. So here's where I go differently about coloring than most people. I always start with my darker color. Uh, no particular reason, it's what works for me. So my light source will be coming this way. That's also another constant of me. I don't know why again. My light source always comes this way. So everything on this side here will be uh, darker and here we'll have the lighter tones. So I'm going to start with my BG18 and I'm just going to go into the areas I want darker. And I'm going to use this color very sparingly because it's quite dark and I don't want to spend too much time uh, shading with that color and or blending because of what I'm going to do afterwards with this um, Prismacolor shading technique that I uh, that I use. So I've already applied my darker color. Sorry I'm out of focus here. Okay here we go. And now I'm using BG13 and I'm going to go ahead and go back into my darker value and blend towards the white area. So that's actually because Copic is um, alcohol based, uh, the paper will not pill and it gives you plenty of time to blend and it blends just nicely. You might have to take a few runs at it but in the end you'll find the results are just stunning. Okay, I don't want to overdo it with this color because I want it fairly light, especially in the middle here where the light hits the most because her hat is sort of rounded shape. So I'm going to go over everything I've done and I am going to start blending my lighter value. All right, so I'm going to finish up the pants and then I'm going to come back and I'll show you what I do with the markers. Okay, so I'm back and as you can see my little girl's hat and pants are colored and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using for the shading with my coloring pencil. Uh, this is my Gamsol. Um, I use an old jar of hand cream and I put in this sponge uh, that I got by from Stampin' Up. And I added just a bit of Gamsol to cover the sponge and I've had this for almost two years now and I haven't run out of uh, Gamsol so a little goes a long way. And um, I'm also going to be using a paper stump which you can find in any good art supply store. 
a black Prismacolor crayon. The way I do it is I use my black marker and I basically put a small outline in my darker area. And although I've already blended with the Copic, it's going to give it even more depth. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to color the black here, here, over here in the corner, a little bit here. And you don't need a lot because you'll see with the Gamsol it's going to create a shading in no time. So here's what I do. I take my stump and I just lightly press into the sponge and you see the tip getting darker, that means you've got Gamsol on the tip of your paper stump. And um, I use circular motions again and um, what you do is you try to bring the black towards your light source. This is the best way I can explain it. So uh, because I'm right-handed I have to turn my, um, my image this way and you'll see as soon as I start rubbing over the black it's actually going to break the pigment of the colored pencil and bring it towards the um, the lighter area. So this is without the black shading and this is with. And what I did, again, with this finished um, card, I, th I actually went in uh, to do the outline with a very, very light shade of Copic. I went over with a lighter blue uh, Prismacolor and then I blended it in just the same way I did on the hat with the black. The same here for the grass. As a quick note, I usually use black on most of the colors except for um, in hair like this, like browns, I will use a dark, dark brown. Um, I use black again on the pink and on the, for the, the, um, on the yellow, the paper and the face, I've used uh, brown as well. So play with the different tones. Brown tends to be more uh, towards the warmer colors and black is great for all any other colors. So have fun with it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to send me a comment or send me an email um, at uh, creations-cc at videotron.ca or uh, leave a comment on my YouTube channel or come and see me on my blog at uh, www.creationcc.com Thanks a bunch and I'll see you soon. Bye!